We'll get into leads later on in the video series. All right, so these are all steps you can take to fix a problem where you have bad geometry, but there may be instances where you want the part to have an open profile. For example, if you have a part that contains a knockout, like an electrical box, the knockout would be an open profile. Another example might be a relief line that's included for bending purposes. In these types of cases, you would intend for the cut to be an open profile. So let's take a look at that now. In this folder, I have a CAD file. That's a drawing of a knockout box. Okay, this contains a lot of interiors that are actually open profiles. So these have gaps and they don't form a closed loop. All right, so those will be identified as open profiles when the part's imported. Since this is intended, you can just add the part as you normally would. No other action is necessary. So let's add that. Okay, I still get the warnings notifying me that there's open profiles, but in this case I'm going to ignore them. So I can go ahead and nest and then cut the part as I normally would. Be sure to check that the leads, cut direction, and kerf are all applied to the part correctly before the part is output.